Welcome back, everybody. Rage here. Today we will be covering the industrial content and where to get its resources. So let's get right into it. And here we have an oil rig looking type structure. This is known as the lava vent. It is one of the static nodes. Uh, these static nodes do not move on the island. So if you find an island that has one of these, then you can continuously come back and replenish your resources from it. If we run up to it and access the inventory, you'll see that we can pull out the orichalcum metal. Uh, this orichalcum is used for crafting some of the uh, industrial content. Uh, you will need it for just about all things. And here is the other static node. This is the sulfur pit. It also looks like an oil rig connected to a little pool. Uh, it kind of looks like a pool of acid. Uh, if you go up to the inventory, access it, you'll see that there is uh, pure sulfur. And you can go ahead and take all of that out of there. And this will, be a, this will be another resource that you'll be using to craft the industrial content. And then we'll go ahead and talk about the transient node for the industrial content. Uh, this is the geothermal vent. It does look like steam just coming out of a... Uh, a little ground node here. One thing to note about these is they do move every week. So if you do find one and you put an ore miner on it, then you will have to relocate it on your island somewhere and put the ore miner back down on it to continue to generate the brimstone. So we'll go ahead and throw down ours here. And then if we give it some time, this will go ahead and generate brimstone. Uh, it does look like this, just so you can kind of see what it looks like. And this has been collecting over the course of, uh, I don't know, maybe a couple weeks. Now the ore miner is really easy to craft. You just got to go to your smithy and you just need some fiber hide metal, stone thatch wood, uh, nothing extraordinary. You just go ahead and craft one of these and then you can throw it on your geothermal vent. So once you find a lava vent and you find the sulfur pit and you find one of the transient nodes to get the brimstone, you would bring some of those resources back to the lava vent, access the inventory, put in the requirements here for the industrial smithy, and we can go ahead and craft one of these. And now that we have our industrial smithy crafted, uh, last I knew you had to craft it near the lava vent node. So what I did was dropped a small thatch floor and we can go ahead and put the industrial smithy on top of it. And you'll see now that we have access to the statues, the industrial weapons, and also the industrial lab, which we will go into a little bit further later on. All right, so let's go ahead and move directly into the industrial statues. Uh, there are two different types. There's the industrial explorer and there's the industrial privateer. The explorer will make it so that when you place it, your crew is actually cheaper to man. So you don't have to pay your crew as often for your puckles, for your manned cannons, for defenses uh, on your ships. If you're sailing in the grid, they'll, they'll require less gold. Uh, to basically work for you. Now the industrial privateer, uh, once you place that down, you will gain more XP and resources in the grid where the statue is placed. So chances are you're going to want to put it somewhere in your home grid uh, so that you can basically collect uh, resources faster and level up your character faster. So let's go ahead and just uh, throw down the construction of one of these industrial statues. First thing we're going to start with is the industrial floor. Once you place that down, you can then place stage two, which will be the framework. Uh, if you get near the floor, you can then put the framework on top, just like that. And then from here, you basically have to wait 24 hours real time to place the statue inside of the framework. So you do have to wait 24 hours. You are time locked. Can't do anything to speed that up. Hey, you just got to wait. And once you wait the 24 hours, come back to your framework. You can then go ahead and put the actual statues on the framework. And you will have statues that look just like this. 
Now, one thing I did want to point out, uh, in the bottom right of your screen here, you'll see the industrial privateer buff in that cluster of smashed icon text. Um, so that is letting you know that you are receiving more XP and resources while you have this statue active on your island, anywhere in the entire grid. The Explorer buff does not show in the bottom right, but I can confirm that it does work because uh, I went to one of my crew and it said that they were uh, to be paid one gold every 42 hours, for example. After placing the statue, it was about one gold every 54 hours. So it does in fact work. You just don't have any kind of notification letting you know so. All right, so now we'll go ahead and get into crafting of the industrial lab. Uh, the industrial lab foundation and the lab itself can both be crafted in the industrial smithy. Uh, once you do have those two pieces crafted, then you're gonna wanna start with the foundation first. So we'll go ahead and get the foundation placed here. And then from here, we're gonna go ahead and toss down the lab itself right on top of the foundation. And then you'll see that we have now become slumlords and have crafted our very own meth lab. So from this meth lab, we're going to go ahead and look at the inventory. You'll see that we have uh, access to crafting an armory station, the astronomy, culinary. Here's the industrial shacks that we'll use to place these different types of studies into. Here is the uh, structure studies and here's the vessel studies so we'll go ahead and craft one of each the industrial shack does have to be crafted nearby the industrial lab so keep that in mind when doing placement okay yeah this looks good here now we can go ahead and go into our different studies uh, first thing I would probably recommend doing is the uh, astronomy station. This thing is just awesome. You can drop it right there, and basically it'll give you that uh, mini-map in the top left corner up there. It is worth pointing out that uh, if you did want to swap out, say, your astronomy studies for the vessel studies, you could just go ahead and demolish this and then put the vessel studies right inside of this uh, meth shack. Uh, or we could make another little mess shack nearby and drop that one down. Then we can come in here, go to our vessel studies, and place it in our second shed. And a lot of people might ask, well, what's the purpose of these different studies? Well, basically, when you craft these studies, we'll use vessel studies, for example, again. Once you place it down in one of your little mess shacks, you access the inventory, uh, you can see that you can make different qualities of, uh, let's say, cargo racks or catapult railings. So if we actually pick this up here, go ahead and place it back down. We'll do a search for uh, cannons. Let's look for cannons. So here, large cannons. This is a 148 masterwork blueprint, for example. You can just craft that and craft that and craft that. Uh, one thing we're going to do... If we pick this up, place it again, go back into the inventory, our large cannons, weapon damage, 134. I don't like that. Go ahead and pick it up, place it again, large cannon, 126, even worse. Pick up, place down, 131. That's eh, better than 126. But you can keep doing this until you find something that you want to craft in a high percentage. And then some of the other things that you can craft would be the culinary studies, which I don't even know why this exists, because you just make normal stuff that you make anyway. There's no different qualities of it. I don't know. Just a more convenient place to make food, I guess. But the other one would be the armory. Go back in here. Same thing with the vessel studies with the different types of qualities of uh, railings and such. Uh, this one has weapons, uh, has armor. Right here, here's a masterwork uh, plate helmet. So you can do the same trick. You can pick it up, place it down until you get something that you want. But one of the coolest things that you can craft is the structure studies. If you access the inventory, we will now have access to the industrial wonder. And it goes stage one through stage six. 
Once you complete stage six, you then get a permanent passive buff of plus 10% intelligence for your entire company in all grids. So we'll go ahead and craft these up. And we'll come right over to our industrial meth lab and we'll go ahead and start placing down one through six. Now see observatory complete intelligence buff awarded. So that will be a passive buff again, plus 10% across the board, any grid. And that pretty much concludes everything that is important with the industrial content. Uh, if you have questions or uh, any kind of comments or anything, go ahead and drop it down in the comment section down below. And until next time, I'll catch you guys later. Mm -hmm.